Replit recently released Agent Tree. So you can see the announcement here once you go to replit.com. I've been using Replit to build all sorts of small little applications using their Replit agent feature. With this agent tree comes this release, Agents and Automations, which enables you to build AI bots or workflow automations in plain English. So basically you vibe code your AI automations. So they're all powered by agents. This is a better feature, but it has options such as building apps around Slack or Telegram integration. It even has a time-based one, which is something that I built. And I want to show you a little example of that. And then there is this event based one that's coming soon. What you see here is the playground. And this is an automation workflow that I already built. And it's powered by an agentic framework, which in turn is powered by open router models. So I'm using the open router API. And this is a time based trigger, which means this automation is going to run every four hours once I publish it. So I haven't really published it because I'm just testing it. And so the idea here is that you can use Rapid Agent. You know, you vibe code the automation, it sets up the database. If it needs it, it configures the agent framework that you need to power the automation. It also allows you to incorporate your API keys if you're using specific models, which in this case, I'm using Open Router. So all of that stuff happens within Replit Agent. So Replit Agent is not open for me here because I just wanted to show you the end result of this workflow that I quickly built. So this automation workflow, I can already test it. And then it has like a couple of steps. It's a little side project that I've been wanting to build for a few weeks now. And basically what I want is I want to be able to check the change log of cloud code and receive updates every four hours. If something changed in the code, I could do it every 24 hours. I could do whatever schedule I want because that's the point of the automation workflow. And the way how I have it set up here, it will fetch the change log. And you can see that this is powered by code. It's all code. And I didn't generate one line of code here. Everything was done by Replit Agent. And then here is just formatting change log. So it uses AI Agent to format and summarize change log updates for Slack. So this is something I want to experiment with. For now, it's quite basic. It's just pulling information, then summarizing it and sending it to Slack. So it sends a notification and then it updates the state. So it's using a little database to track the change log essentially. If I check every four hours or if I check every 12 hours and there's no changes, then this automation is just going to send me a very simple message such as no updates. But if it does see changes, then that will show up. I have so many ideas for this, but this is just V1. So now let me show you how it works. So I'm going to test the automation here. So now it's running and you can also view the detailed traces if you want. I really like this because automations, they usually can go wrong in so many ways. So it's good to have that observability functionality there. All right. So it looks like all of the steps completed, right? We'd fetch the change log, we format the change log with an AI model, we send the notification to Slack, and then there's this update here that's tracked by my little database. Let's look at where this was sent. I'm going to open up Slack and show you the channel that I've configured to receive these changelog notifications. So you can see here that I received the changelog update. So for Cloud Code, there is the latest update, which is v1.0.113. These were the latest updates, deprecated pipe input in interactive mode, transcript toggle, key binding, move to control to so. And then it gives me a link here that I can go and then check the change log. The change log in question is this one from Cloud Code. This is where all the updates happen. For now, I have to come here manually. So the problem that I'm trying to solve is to gather all of these little updates and do it on a schedule, right? Every 12 hours, every 24 hours. So I never miss any important updates inside of Cloud Code. And this is just the first step. I have so many ideas for this. I'm actually thinking of extending the automation to be able to do more like deep research and other things like that. And because I have built this within Replit, I can just expand the code or keep pipe coding and adding more functionalities to it. I can customize it however I want. I like the power of doing that. And I think building automations like that in Replit has huge potential for building useful applications like this. Let me know what you think. I'll keep experimenting with this and share more if I find any interesting insights. I'll also be doing a more extended overview with all the steps of how to set something like this up inside of Replit with all the integrations into Slack and so on. I'll be doing that for my Academy Pro members. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.